channel so it is day three uh, in Biloxi this is our last day here we are getting ready to check out check out time it's at 11 probably head out of here around 10 because it's like 905 right now but we're going to try to get out of here uh, before 11 so we can uh, try to squeeze in um, another attraction if you know if possible but um we need to go get souvenirs um but that's right across the street because everything is pretty much on this uh street so we we're in a good location so um i like that but um anyway um we need to go get souvenirs and you know see what else we could um you know squeeze in you know for today so so yeah that's the plan um we getting ready to uh pack up i just uh took a shower wash my hair so I'm probably going to wear my bangs curly. Today it is drying up real quick. So probably uh, spray some more water on it. But anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, we're about to head down to the lobby and uh, grab some breakfast. So I'll chat with y'all in a little bit. to come to this ocean marine adventure park where they have like dolphins uh sea lions stingrays and you know uh birds and stuff like that so we're about to go see this real quick and then we're gonna go get souvenirs after we leave here and then we're gonna be ready to hit the road so we're about to go in here our reservation is in like five minutes so uh we're about to head in here so i'll chat with y'all once we get in here <music> adaptations that you share with those animals and you guys can see as she spins around on my hand there that she's got little toes out the front and toes out the back on her feet which you guys saw when she waved and this is something called zygodactylus which is similar to those dinosaurs that lived many years ago but also she has little scales on her feet as well oh, got an itch and let's see, if she was out in the forest, she'd be climbing up vines, she'd be climbing up limbs. That would be one of her major ways of getting around the forest, besides being able to fly. But also, she could make her way down to the forest floor to be able to walk, to be able to run, maybe do a little dance, and in a little moonwalk for everybody. Good job, very nice. Well, those would be her feet. And she does have something else similar to those dinosaurs, and that's her neck. She has something called an S-shaped curved neck. She can actually see all the way around. Based on the way that you guys sounded just then, you agree with me that that's a little on the creepy side, for sure. But it's very unhelpful, because if a predator is behind her, she can see that, she can fly out of there to get to safety as quick as possible. She can see in very far distances and even in some colors, just like we can. Let's see them up really good here. Ready? Go. Similar to those dinosaurs is their feathers. You see, they 
have feathers like some dinosaurs, the Velociraptor, they believe had feathers, the Archaeopteryx had feathers, wings, and could fly. And we're gonna see if she can do a little bit of flying. She's gonna fly like really close to you. You okay with that? Okay. So here we go. You ready? Poppy. So you can see those feathers and wings helps her to be a great flyer as well. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly right. Well, another, let's see. One thing that people tend to ask us is if these guys make easy pets. What do you guys think? Well, half and half. Yes is a nose. What do you think? No. <laughs> Not the easiest pet. How, that's because of how smart she is. She has the intelligence of about a two to three year old child. And I see lots of parents out there. What do we tend to call it? You're shaking your head. <laughs> what do we tend to call that fun time of our kids' lives? The terrible twos. The terrible twos, that's right. Well, a bird will never outgrow that terrible twos. This will be their entire lives. Any guesses to how long they can live? I heard 100. The average lifespan is 60 to 80 years, which means your entire life. And that also means that your bird would probably end up in your will, and you would end up passing it on to the kid that you like the, I mean, you like the most. That's what I meant to say. You like the most. Yes, that's right. But that definitely can be a bit of a challenge. Let's see. They may be a bit of a challenge, but they're also really adorable when they play with their toys. And since March Madness is a rolling along, let's see if she can slam dunk that ball. And switch!
off, do a little bit of whatever they would like to do, and also talk about some of the things the dolphins have in common with us. That's right, they have a few things in common with us because they are mammals like we are. They are warm-blooded animals, they give wide birth, they breathe the air through lungs like we do. They also at one point in time had hair. That's right. Dolphins have hair when they're born in the form of whiskers right there along their bottlenose beak or that rostrum. They use those to find the milk for their mothers. After about five days old, they don't need those anymore. They fall out, leaving them to be the hairless dolphins that you guys see here today. They are also extremely powerful animals, having huge sets of muscles starting at the base of their neck, going all the way down to their tail. They are so strong. They can hold 80% of their body weight on just those tails. So let's put our eyes to the center of the stage and see what our stars can really do. And that's a perfect place to put those loose fishing lines. 
Hey y'all, I'm back. So we in the souvenir shop. We're about to pick up some souvenirs right quick before we hit the road. Okay, no problem. I want the pretty one though. So yeah, we're about to pick out some souvenirs right quick and then we're gonna hit the, uh, hit the road. So yeah, uh, I'll chat with y'all in a little bit. Shining regardless. 